a bicycle ride of more than 300 miles takes place from New Jersey to our nation's capital. It's done mainly by law enforcement who have had their colleagues die in the line of duty. But this year, the pandemic has changed all that, like so many things. Fox 6's Evan Peterson shows us how local law enforcement are paying their respects. This is the most I've ridden ever in my entire life. You couldn't ask for better weather or a better reason. My brother told me last July, he's like, we're gonna be honoring dad next year. For a bike ride. And I was like, okay, well, I guess I'm gonna have to get on a bike and buy a bike and start riding. To remember those who are no longer with us. This year is the 20th anniversary of my father dying in the line of duty. This year, Stephanie Zilka rides for her father, Milwaukee County Sheriff Deputy Ralph Zilka. So this was gonna be the first year that they were gonna actually ride for my dad. But she's not alone. And Deputy Zilka isn't the only one being remembered. Patrol Division in honor of Matt Rittner. Next, we are going to go to the Sheriff's Department in honor and memory of Deputy Sheriff Sergio Aleman. Pedaling and coasting throughout Milwaukee County on Tuesday, nearly a dozen people riding to honor the memory of law enforcement who've been killed in the line of duty. It's a small group of, of people, um, co-workers, survivors who want to do something. While this year's ride may not take them to the law enforcement memorial in our nation's capital, today's trek has brought them to places just as powerful. Our dad missed our graduations. He missed us getting married. He missed um, his grandchild be born. So he's missed a lot. In Milwaukee, Evan Peterson, Fox 6 News. Evan, thank you. And if you'd like to participate, maybe learn more about the Unity Tour and the people being remembered, just head to our website. We have the information there at fox6now.com. <laughs>